My childhood was not so easy because I grew up as an orphan. Uh, my dad uh, died when I was only eight and my mom died when I was nine. Then life was not good at all. I had no any choice but to go and stay with my aunt. But staying with my aunt, I went through a, a horrible life. Eating was a, a big problem to me because they, couldn't, they were not treating me like a human being. They used to wait until everybody has eaten, then the left, leftovers, they're the ones who are, which were mine. And I remember those days where I could first be given a lot of work to do. And before, if I don't finish that work, then I'm not going to eat. So all my life was like that. Even education was hard because they, I would be the last one to be paid school fees. And sometimes I miss schools so that I can stay at home taking care of the rest of the kids for my aunt. Grades at school were so low because of the stress which I was going through. I was not having any hope of surviving because every time it was just like mercy of uh, uh, my aunt to, for me to get food. So whenever she was so annoyed, it meant that I'm, not go I'm going to sleep hungry. So it made me so emotional and I was so thin and I, was so, I, was, I didn't have energy for doing anything until when my brother came and rescued me and there is where I started like uh, feeling a bit healthier. So it was just mercy of God for me to survive and to be here. I got a chance of going to a university to learn IT. Got some money from my brother and I bought a computer. After buying that computer, I tried to call people to train them. And many people were interested in, in learning computer. There, slowly by slowly, I, add, I started adding more computers. And afterwards, I started a full internet cafe. Uh, like three years ago, when I was still working in my cafe, is when I met Joy, the founder of Farms to Uganda. And after meeting, uh, she told me about her idea of starting an organization of Farms to Uganda. And when I flashed back my life, which was not easy at all, and uh, there was another opportunity of going to serve people like how I, I, I grew up and I knew exactly what those people are going through, I decided and I said, yes, I'll be, I'll be there to serve. Shu has helped me a lot. Emotionally, I was like fearing everybody. Since I went through a hardship of like being mistreated, I was thinking that everybody is like that. And I used to isolate myself from people. I used to be, to stay somewhere alone, quietly there. But when I started working with Farm Shu, and I started having many people, training many people, I get that self-esteem. And I started like opening myself to people. And exactly the way I th went through my life is what those people whom we train are going through. There's so many people whom we gave vegetable gardens. They had nothing to eat, but after giving them, Every day they have something to eat and the surplus they sell, which is also has improved on their life. 
that problem of hunger, it is reducing among the people whom we have trained. I'm really so grateful for the Ministry of Farm Sioux for giving the people in the village another chance to live a happy and better life and also to know more about God. This is the OCI family, ministries like Farm Stew working hard to bring people to Jesus' feet.